Hey, I'm golf broadcaster Matt Adams, the updated and expanded second edition of my book, The Golf Round I'll Never Forget, Golf's Biggest Stars Recall Their Finest Moments, is now available. Readers can expect to march with Arnie's Army at the 1960 U.S. Open, relive Jack Nicklaus's remarkable 1986 Masters win, and be amazed by the Tiger Slam. The Golf Round I'll Never Forget, Golf's Biggest Stars Recall Their Finest Moments. Pick it up where fine books are sold, including barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com. It's December 2nd, and on this day in 1985, it was a Monday night football game to remember for several reasons. It was week 13 of the season, and the undefeated Chicago Bears were in Miami, taking on an 8-4 Dolphins team. The Bears were rolling, coming off consecutive shutouts and outscoring teams 104-3 in the previous three games. They seemed destined to close out the regular season without a loss march to the Super Bowl title, and equal the 1972 Dolphins in the record books as the only other undefeated team in NFL history. But the Dolphins had quarterback Dan Marino and a set of talented wide receivers preparing to put on a showcase and expose defensive coordinator Buddy Ryan's vaunted 46 defense. It didn't take the Dolphins long to start lighting up the scoreboard, scoring on their opening drive on a 33-yard TD pass from Marino to Nat Moore, a couple of rushing touchdowns, a blocked punt setting up another Marino to Moore scoring strike in the closing minutes of the first half, and the Dolphins led 31-10 at the break. Now, Bears head coach Mike Ditka and Ryan had been butting heads for most of the season, and Ditka was not happy watching Dolphin wideouts Moore, Mark Duper, and Mark Clayton scorch Ryan's defense, and he started screaming at Ryan to change up the game plan. Ryan told Ditka that he didn't need or want his advice and told him where he could put it. The two were screaming in each other's faces, and whether any punches were ever thrown is still up for debate, with more than a few saying Ditka offered to take their dispute outside the locker room. Now, back out in the hot and humid Orange Bowl for the second half, the Bears narrowed the margin to 31-17 early in the second, but good fortune, or... Maybe it was the luck of the 72 Dolphins in attendance that night that rubbed off on Marino on the next possession. Facing a third and long, Marino tried to dump a pass over the middle, but the ball ricocheted off a Bears helmet, floated downfield to a wide-open Mark Clayton running a dummy route, who looked up and said, Merry Christmas to me. He reeled it in and walked into the end zone for a back-breaking touchdown. The Bears never threatened from there, and the Dolphins won 38-24, snapping Chicago's winning streak and their hopes for an undefeated season. However, the loss did not derail the Bears' plans for the rest of the season. They won their remaining regular season games, marched through the playoffs, and Super Bowl shuffled their way to a 46-10 win over New England in Super Bowl XX. But on this night in 1985, the Dolphins reigned supreme. Interestingly enough, also on this day in history, exactly one year before in 1984, Marino threw his 37th touchdown pass of the year in a win against Oakland to set a new NFL record for TD passes in a season. He finished that year with 48, a record that stood for 20 years until Peyton Manning topped it with 49 in 2004. That's all for today. More tomorrow on This Day in Sports History. Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude. And I hope that you enjoyed this recent episode presented by the Sports History Network and were able to learn some good old-fashioned sports history knowledge nuggets. I started the Sports History Network back in 2020 with the mission to help podcasters find a community of like-minded sports history nerds as well as helping aspiring podcasters to start their own shows. We have a little bit over 30 shows on the network right now covering all sorts of sports history, but as far as I'm concerned, we're just at the toothpick in the ocean moment, you know, that can't even figure it out because there's so much more coming. We wanted to create the ultimate headquarters for sports yesteryear, starting with Podcast Network and our website, but we're going to continue to move into other mediums as well. And here's the cool part, because we want you to be part of our team. So if you're interested in starting your own podcast, or maybe being a guest on one of our shows... Or who knows, maybe even writing an article for us over on the website. Seriously, all you gotta do is reach out to us on the contact page over at sportshistorynetwork.com. You can be as technologically savvy as a Neanderthal tapping on a stone trying to figure out this whole hieroglyphics thing back in the day. 
Again, it doesn't matter because even if you don't understand the whole podcast space, we have a production team that can pretty much help you out with doing everything. All you got to do, head over to sportshistorynetwork.com, head to the contact page, fill it out. That message goes right to me and I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. But for now, dude, I'm through if you're through.